Welcome back YouTubers and toy train buffs. Uh, I got a bunch done on the edge of town layout so this is a an installment of the edge of town rejuvenation series uh, and as always we're going to talk about scenery, structures, a little bit about track, new train set and odds and ends. Okay, uh, not sure if I covered it uh, before but I did make this Deercrest Lake sign. I think I did. Eh, I'm forgetting things in my, my young age. <laughs> anyway, this area is now the Deercrest Lake area. And you know if you've been watching previous installments that I've been working on this Plasticville roadside stand. Parked in front of it is a fairly new acquisition. A Sears Marks or Lumar Sears uh, tractor trailer combination. This is the first of these 10 tractor trailer combinations I have with a black tractor or truck. And I'm kind of stoked about that. I love it. I am going to pull that up. And this is what I've been working on. Now, you see, it's Roof is all weathered. I'm going to take this off. Insides have been painted. I've shown you that before. However, what you haven't seen is it's now glued to the base. I painted it green and weathered it. So it's all weathered up. And I was thinking, always dangerous for me, I was thinking that I may not make this a permanent uh, farmers market. I can leave that. That can that can that's a blank slate right now. Okay, I can do whatever I want. It can be set up as a farmers market, which is easy to do because they've got all the stuff for it, or a flea market of some kind, which it might be harder to do. I'm gonna have to come up with uh, tables and such, and little doodads. But anyway. I thought it would be better if I left the inside uh, alone. I don't glue anything down on it. That way I can... I'm, I'm a big fan of swapping things out if I can. Uh, my previous layouts were uh, featured that, that kind of uh, mode and I like that. Alright, next. Well, when I got this Woodland Scenics built and ready uh, log or uh, cabin, rustic cabin. It was pretty much a foregone contusion that I was going to get the windmill. Woodland Scenics offers this in two versions, uh, kind of a newish looking version, and this is the old windmill. And by old, it's like missing a couple weather vanes intentionally. It's a little more distressed and this turns, oops, and my, uh, my peeing dog just fell down. Alrighty, so, whatever. Uh, okay, messing around with it too much. Alright, W, W, M. All right, whatever that is. So here's the deal. The Woodland Scenics windmill came with pump. This pipe that goes uh, goes to the uh, uh, pipe in the middle. Uh, there's a trough there. There's a couple extra troughs, I guess, for livestock. So... I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know how to really set this up. I'm a city slicker. I don't know anything about windmills. You know, if you've got this rig going, uh, how does how does this get fed the water? All right. Uh, anyway, I'll figure something out. Next, I added sunflowers. Yeah, I like those. JTT Scenery Products offers these. 
Uh, these were easy. I just drilled holes in the base, plunk, plunked them in, and uh, we're good to go. I can always take them out. I didn't glue anything. We're good to go. So, a little more scenery detail. Oh, let's say I don't bump into anything. The tree back here now has a tire swing for the kitties. Uh, so that's, oh, what do we got here? That was structures, scenery, track. What I did was <clears throat> found a Marks on Coupler track. I tested it out and Marks cars with the tilt auto couplers do work, more or less. When we get around to running trains, Marks trains at uh, uh, freight consist, and I start doing some switching here. Then we'll, we'll just see how well that works. Alrighty. So, uh, let's see what else we have. Oh, I bought, you know, this Woodland Scenics stuff, the ready built buildings. Their lighting system is the just plug lighting system, and you need power supply, uh, hub set uh, with some additional, this one has additional lights. And so I've got that so that I can eventually plug the light in to that log cabin, or log, uh, not log cabin, but rustic cabin. And so, yeah, all right, we can do that. Now, the one thing that's really cool, besides all the other little work I've done, is this Mark's. Hiawatha. The Marks guys call these Marksawathas. And it's, Marks didn't make these. All right. Anytime you see a Marksawatha, it was custom made by somebody. Somebody. This one here I bought many years ago. I still have the shipping box. and I, Apparently I bought it from Hearts Hobbies in Utah. And this was done with wraps. You see this printed? Decoration. All right. Milwaukee Road. Look at that. Milwaukee Road, the Hiawatha tender. Awesome. Then we've got dining car. Let me move this billboard out of the way. Coach. Parlor car, Manchester. It's the. Uh, it's only one of two cars of this four-car consist with the name. And last but not least, their version of the Beaver Tail Observation, and was named Merrill. All right, and that's how they they did it. Quite acceptable. It's a toy. All right, it's a little flap that kind of. <coughs> sticks out from there and that's it engine tender four car consist all done in wraps uh, everything's been repainted the uh, engine works well it would work better <laughs> if there were no turnouts or switches on this layout it will not go clockwise around here it always gets hung up on the turnout. Always. Derails. Period. End of story. It does a passable job going counterclockwise. And so, uh, that's how we're going to run it. Counterclockwise. All right, folks. Pray for me. <laughs> Let's hope this thing runs the way it was running just prior to filming. Backwards? Yep, that's okay. Reverse unit works quite well on this, I have to tell you. I don't have to, but I will. Okay, I knew that. There we go. Clear the switch.
I'm going to have to keep my hand on the uh, power pack here. I found its sweet spot before and it was running pretty good. Actually, that little surge of power just before the switch helps it to clear the switch. It's doing it on its own. I'm not doing anything. An extra power lead to the rear of the track there, the rear side, will help. And it's on my list of things to do. I'll get around to it. Sparks like a son of a gun, sometimes, over that switch. Uh, I did clean the wheels really good before doing this, but it it's still likes to spark over that. Over that switch. Okay, I'm going to do something here. I'm sitting down in my... my roller chair here. Let's see. I'm just going to put that down here and run the train. Hopefully I can get some nice shots. I hope. I don't know. Alright. Back in the... Bring it on home. All right, not bad. A couple stops, no derailments. Uh, this time. Alrighty. Well, hope you enjoyed that installment of the rejuvenation efforts of the Edge of Town layout, and I hope you enjoyed this custom-made Mark Sawatha train set as well. Like I said, uh, this would work a whole lot better on a layout that didn't have any turnouts. 
It's just uh, it's the nature of the beast. So uh, I enjoy it. Loved it. Uh, hit like, comment, subscribe. Tschüss, auf Wiedersehen, adieu. Bye, y'all.